This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, buddy! And guess. Welcome back, everybody, to Miles Edge Face Attorney Investigation 2 Prosecutor's Path. Here it is, the moment you've been waiting for. Oh, I have no what idea. many people are, are looking forward to, I'm sure, even though we haven't even uploaded Trials and Tribulations yet as of the time of this <laughs> recording. <laughs> Anyhow, we're on the inherited turnabout today. Marty, any predictions as far as this case um, goes? My prediction was it was going to be like on a train. And someone was gonna die, or like something involving the train tracks, like you know that Bugs Bunny thing where he's tied up yeah. on the train tracks. Maybe something like that. <laughs> um, otherwise, I think it's gonna be a really like unusual type of case. It it's, is <laughs> okay. I'm I'm more saying like it could be something like oh they're not murdered, they're kidnapped, or it's like oh, oh they're not murdered. It's something's <laughs> been stolen. Like oh hello hello right. <laughs> So, well, yeah. it's not like they're trying to steal the family's inheritance. It's not like they're trying to steal the entire the Declaration Chapel. of Independence. Yeah, this isn't Karma San Diego. Yeah, well, I have okay. I'm not sure if you're gonna really like this case or kind of be annoyed by it, it because okay. it's, it is long and it is tedious. But I think you're gonna like it at least for the opening movie alone. So okay, okay, <laughs> free, I'm into get it. ready. Three, two, one, go. Also, that looks like the dude. Okay, it's a cake. Okay. 3 p.m. What's for dessert today? Captain Hall! And Jeff Masses. Piece of cake! What? This is cool! Okay, is it like Cookie Mama? Macaroons and waffles! Why didn't Fluffy oh, shoot fun cake? Say. Yeah. Okay. Happiness for one and all! The sweetness temptations! There! Where? Over, Over there! there. Take, Take a, a peek, peek inside, inside the, the oven. oven. Look, Look, it's, it's freshly, freshly baked, baked desserts. <laughs> Dang, I wish I knew what we were doing. <laughs> Let's cook again today. I have no idea what this girl's <laughs> like. So This is so cool. It's the Great British Bake Off, if it was a musical. <laughs> Except they're not British, from what we know. This program sure brings back memories. Oh! Gregory. And Lord Hart. Tomorrow I'm heading towards that fateful place with your son. Who's that chick? To find out the truth of 18 years ago. Me, me, me. Ma, ma, ma. Okay. Whoa! April 2nd, 10.05 a.m. Zodiac Art Gallery. I was about to say, we were, we were in a fashionable, <laughs> posh place here. Yes, we are. Okay. No K. Mr. Shields, isn't it about time you told me what this is all about? Why did you bring me to this museum with you? <laughs> You're not busy now, are you, Miles? I thought it would be nice if we could share the romance of the constellations together. I beg your pardon, but I am straight, and I would like to leave. Actually, I think she's asexual. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, it was just a joke. You could be straight and asexual, Artie. Asexual means you don't experience sexual attraction of any kind. It doesn't... Straight means you experience sexual attractions to the opposite sex. Asexual means... Mm. Asexual means you lack sexual, like, inclinations. Yeah, but there are still asexuals in relationships. Which is kind of odd. It's kind of odd, but yeah. Do you know about the final case your father worked on? The IS-7 incident? Every no two letters and a number! Yes. Manfred von Karma showed it to me immediately after I became a prosecutor. You will need to study this case! <laughs> this is the best! I'll be at spa! <laughs> I reviewed the case file again last night after you invited me here. And... While I don't remember it very well, I also had been in attendance at the trial back then. When I was young, I loved watching my father do battle in the courtroom. During that trial, it was my father, the defense attorney Gregory Edgeworth, against... My former mentor, Prosecutor Manfred von Karma. And while the trial ended with the defendant being declared guilty, I see. 
So you were there too at Gregory's final trial. In that case, I'll cut to the chase and tell you what you want to know. The truth about the IS-7 incident. It happened 18 years ago, during the winter. All the buildings were covered in a snow, coating the entire town like a layer of frosting. What does this have to do with the bake? And it was in this very place that the incident occurred. The Shake and Bake Show. <laughs> the, the Shake and Bake. Piece of cake. This was all before Uncle Ray became a defense attorney. Uh, who's that chick? That's Ray. 18 years ago. I'm sorry, what? That's a dude? That's Raymond Shields. 18 years ago. That doesn't look like him at all. First of all, that looks like a girl. Second of all, he has completely different skin color and completely no. different features. Yes, he does! It's, it's black and white! You couldn't even tell! You can tell the difference in shades of gray. No, this is bogus. This is, no, this is absolutely bogus. I want you to put up a picture of Ray as a young man. You are being Ray very now. loud right now. I don't care. That it's is stupid. No, it's not! He you does. haven't even seen him! Okay, Just fine. seriously, get a grip. December 24, 5 p.m., Detention Center Visitor's Room. Does this mean he was going drag during that show? Because that's exactly what he looked like. He's not the dancer on the TV! He looked like it! He looked he, absolutely he nothing the, like that even the remotely. He exact same features on the face. He, no, Ray, you okay, are being such Ray a now, <laughs> No! Ray now has these tiny little eyes, and then he's like, what? And they're like, huge! Yes, they are. No, they're not. Okay, just talk. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, this request sure was sudden, don't you think? Indeed. We were contacted immediately after the client was arrested. My name is Atticus Finch. I mean, uh, Gregory Edgeworth. <laughs> I am a defense attorney. We get to play as Gregory this case. Oh. I brought my assistant Raymond with me to meet our client, but... A murder on Christmas Eve. This is just too okay, much. There he looks like him. When he was doing the front program. Ah, in the darkness, a miraculous meeting. Welcome one and all to the visitor's room. Uh, amazing. So this is what meeting the client is like. What? <laughs> the guards doing the jazz dance. <laughs> It all happened so suddenly, I, I was completely surprised. I'm also surprised. A thousand pardons for startling you. I am merely expressing my happiness through song. Welcome one and all. I greatly appreciate you coming. So you're the client for this case? Indeed. My name is Gregory Edgeworth. I'm a defense attorney. What does he look like? He looks like... Okay, literally, Gregory looks like the actor who played Atticus Finch in the original To Kill a Mockingbird movie. Oh, and that's not what I was thinking. And apparently his really actor's good. name is Gregory, so that's, oh, that's, that's partially where his English name, official English name, came from, oh. which is kind of cool. I will be representing you in court. No, I'm talking about this dude that, with the afro. Oh, the afro. He kind of looks like... Maybe a character from Sam and Max? I have I no know. idea what character I don't you're know. thinking of. I'm trying to think of, like... It's the nose that's getting me. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> this is my assistant, Raymond Shields. <laughs> nice to meet you! I, um, uh, I'll do my best to help you. There, his eyes are huge! Yeah, because he's surprised. Oh. Relax, Raymond. Please excuse his jitters. He's working part-time in my office as an apprentice. I thought I'd let him assist me in this investigation. So, Mr. McGregory and Raymond, correct? I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. Where's the chick? Is she the one that's dead? <laughs> my job involves saving my clients from crimes in which they were falsely accused. Uh... First, I should determine if he is truly innocent by using this magaton. <laughs> 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 First, I would like to know more about you. Ah, I have forgotten to introduce myself. My name is Jeffrey Master. He doesn't even need to do... <laughs> logic chess he's just, just like he's just, he's just smart he's just like you're innocent <laughs> what you mean you're master jeff master jeff master chef oh. <laughs> the world's greatest pastry chef jeff master the master chef <laughs> yes i am honored that you have heard of me all my fans call me master jeff Wowzers! i'm totally starstruck <laughs> i just can't believe i get to meet master Tell jeff me that does not look like a female 
Hit the eyes there, do a little, the eyes a little look bit. Like, it, it looks... I think it's the hair length, too. His jawline is much more in line with Jawline is more female, I would say. For, for like, an anime look. The hair is long enough... Is like short it's it's enough. like a poofy haircut. It's, it's like, it's like haircut. Jeff's hair right it's, there. It's like Jeff's if Jeff was wearing a hat, <laughs> and then he's really scrawny, so that's some of what makes him look... Some of us are scrawny, aren't we? Whatever! Raymond seems to know quite a bit about Mr. Master. Master Jeff makes fantastic desserts while putting on a solid dance show. <laughs> yeah, I still think he looks like a female. You're wrong, boys. Oh yeah, a lot of musical numbers. What's for dessert today? Uh... Th th Macaroons and waffles, light and fluffy chiffon cake. Happiness for one and all. This is definitely The different. sweetest temptations. There! Where? <laughs> Over there. Take a peek inside the oven. Look, Dang. it's freshly baked desserts. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to voice that that guard. I got caught up in their salt myself. <laughs> so... <laughs> Wahoo! I'm so happy that I got to see Master Jeff. It's my dream come true. I hope the female's <laughs> not the one that's murdered. <laughs> Thank you. I am happy to hear that as well. He looks like a Fire like... Emblem character, maybe. Mr. Master, Raymond, shall we return to the matter at hand? Yes, of course. My sincerest apologies for making you wait. Now, where should we start? This is the most pulled together witness. <laughs> you are the world's greatest pastry chef, but you are also skilled in song and dance? Seems a little weird. Attorney's badge. Proof of my profession. Polishing it every day has become my routine. It's, uh... Profiles, Raymond Shields. He's 18. Works oh, part-time. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's Amy young. Jeffrey so, Master, he's 39. He looks pretty good for 39. Yeah, Take a lesson, does. Manny Coachin. Uh, Manny Coachin. <laughs> Manny Coachin. <laughs> 24. <laughs> it's like he's done some math. <laughs> yes, he has. <laughs> when I'm having a good time, my body just seems to... <laughs> my body just moves to the rhythm by itself. You seem to enjoy making desserts from the bottom of your heart. <laughs> if you don't have a good time making desserts, you won't make anything good. Creating desserts that bring happiness to one and all is my purpose in life. Master Jeff's desserts are practically works of art! They sparkle and look so delicious. He's famous for his dreamlike desserts. Bringing happiness to all with his dreamlike desserts, huh? The incident occurred in your estate, is that correct? Yes. That's where the great dessert contest was being held. It seems that the body was discovered in one of my creations. They found it in one of your desserts? Is that... Aww, I wanted to voice her. That's a dude, just all I'm gonna say. Oh, <laughs> it had a ponytail. No, he, he I think... Oh, maybe. Maybe, maybe he don't he like, had, keep... He maybe had, he had long hair and kept it out. I think that's what... Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> For that reason, I was arrested by the detective in charge of the initial investigation. I would never do something as vile as robbing someone of their life. I'm certain that the police will also realize that they have made a mistake. Well, they won't, so... R really? Hmm. Do you know anything about the victim? He was a man named Isaac Dover. He was one of the competitors in the contest. Oh, Ugh. he looks like a pleasant person. He looks person. like a monk. Uh, he has I like, really want to win. He has the win. cheekbones of Angelina Jolie. You, you also described Wesley Stickler that way. <laughs> yep. It's the high cheekbones thing. <laughs> He was a wonderful man. Oh no, that's a different person. I was confused because Gregory appeared on stage. He was a wonderful man who made desserts of the highest beauty. Why did he have to die? I see. He truly seems to be grieving over the victim's death. Detective Gumshoe, sir. I believe I have a sufficient understanding of Mr. Master's personality. Mr. Master, before I accept your request, there is one final matter I must confirm. You did not kill Mr. Dover. Can I take your word for it? Yes, that is correct. I did not kill him. No matter what happens, I would never take another person's life. Five Cyclops appear. <laughs> Those aren't the eyes of a liar. See, he doesn't even need to do logic yeah, chess. he just knows. I understand. I believe you. Thank you very much for taking the time to talk with us. The pleasure is all mine. I am grateful to speak with someone other than a detective. And then meanwhile, on the other half of the screen, his his hands underneath, he's got like the, <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the finger across the fingers. Across the fingers. <laughs> Next, we shall begin our investigation at the, of the crime scene. We will report back with our findings once we have finished. 
Mr. Gregory, Raymond, I wish you good luck. Oh no. December 24th, it's Christmas Eve, 6 p.m., contest venue. Everything Fountain bad patio. happens on Christmas Eve in these games. Yeah. Well, Every DL6, te the, the second DL6 happened on Christmas, technically. Technically. Una, 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 una. <laughs> Whew, it sure is cold outside. I didn't expect it to be snowing this hard. Indeed. Oh, that's snow? Uh, this is no, this outside? is not. This is inside. They oh. just came in from outside. A blizzard like this will probably not clear up for a while. But even so, this mansion is ginormous! So this is what Master Jeff's place is like, huh? If you're going to hold a contest in your own home, you would need this much space after all. This is you. This, all I can this think is the girl. All this I can is think of is from... Toadette. And I know that's not her voice. La la la! Welcome! Thank you for coming! I'll just see her up close and see. Whoa. Hey! Oh my! Are you okay? I'm so very sorry. Would you happen to be Monsieur Edgeworth? I think she's French. Oh. So if, if you can do it. Would a you happen to be Monsieur Edgeworth? Yes, I am Gregory Edgeworth. Let me bow formally. And I'm his assistant, Raymond Shields. Can I see your repose, please? Greetings and welcome, Monsieur Edgeworth and Monsieur Shields. Can I see you up close? Oh, she's not. She doesn't have as high of a voice as that. It's, it's the eyebrows. Please call me Catherine Hall. I'm in charge of the household affairs in this estate, and I'm also Monsieur Master's assistant. Ah, oh, no way! You're the famous Kate, aren't you? You know of me? Of course I do! I see you on TV all the time! I'm a big fan of Piece of Cake! Oh goodness, I'm glad to hear you're a fan! Tell me, what is this Piece of Cake? Okay, I know exactly who I'm thinking of for the music, or the sound for her. You know, um, Guilty Party, uh, yes. the weird gothic maid, Fifi. No, oh, I don't no. remember. That's kind of, that's <laughs> kind of do that, for her. Oh, no. <laughs> Monsieur Edgeworth. Monsieur Edgeworth. Just don't give her a British accent. Oh, yeah, there, there'll be plenty of other British people to voice, you know. <laughs> All the rules, or whatever. Piece of Cake is a TV show that's hugely popular with the kids. Master Jeff and Kate scene and dance while they make delicious treats. This sounds like the most gimmicky Food Network show ever. Ah! <laughs> Just like this. Not another one! What's for dessert today? I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> Her voice is a little off. Cookies and caramel. Rich and fiery cream puffs. Let's make it together. A delectable paradise Here There Everywhere You just open up the oven Now, now it's, it's time, time for dessert, dessert. <laughs> I like her twirl that she did Oh, Monsieur Shields, that was incredible Not really, the text comes on way slower than the two Dude, goes <laughs> That might just be our emulator though No, I... It, literally every and every time I've seen this, it's been like a, <laughs> I always practice along with the show. It's like a musical. Maybe I should tell my son about this show. Because <laughs> keep in mind, Miles is like eight at this time. He's like seven He's or eight years old. He's steel samurai. Stop making him watch British Bake Off. <laughs> British Bake Off's great though. <laughs> for all ages. <laughs> but man, doing this dance repeatedly sure works up your appetite. Ah, oh, pardon my inconsideration. I've forgotten to take care of our guests. Please relax and have some tea. I was said I was hungry, not thirsty, <laughs> but all right. It's tea and crumpets. Clatter, clatter. <laughs> Those are some big cups. That's like my Cheshire cat mug. Oh, this is some fine Ceylon tea. I hear the aroma of citrus does wonders for your concentration. I see. So this is what Ceylon tea smells like. Oh, these saucers are chilled. Yes, they help cool the tea more quickly for people with bad, who are bad with hot beverages. I see. These teacups also have a wonderful design. Also, I'm pretty sure... Oh, oh wait, hang on. How old is uh, Cheekbone Man? 38. <laughs> he does look like shave his head. He could be, uh, uh, not shave his head. Like, cut... They cut his cut, hair? Cut that hair. He could be in Star Wars. <laughs> As one of the officers. As one of the officers. Oh, no, totally. You will, will fire. Yep. <laughs> oh, thank 
Thank you very much! They're one of the few pride and joys of our estate, ordered directly from France. They were made by the famed sculptor Pierre Houquet. They are my absolute favorite articles of tableware. I forgot about this pose of hers. <laughs> she looks really weird. You seem to greatly appreciate this man's works. Yes! They are like treasures to me. She appears to be very honest about what she likes. Thank you, Miss Hall. But it's time for us to move on to business. Are there any details that you can give us about the incident? Ah, oh, you're right. I sometimes get so distracted welcoming guests I forget myself. To tell the truth, I was the one who discovered Monsieur Dover's body. So you were the first one to discover the body. Is it true that the body was discovered in one of Master Mr. Master's desserts? Yes, it was during the judging of the Great Dessert Contest. I heard the sound of something breaking from Monsieur Master's room. Monsieur Master, are you in here? When I looked inside the room, I saw Monsieur Dover's body inside the treasure chest. The treasure chest? What kind of a work was this? He makes desserts. <laughs> for your for your show stuff. You, you, need, must, to you need to make a three-dimensional box that holds another dessert inside of it. You have two hours. This is a pretty easy <laughs> first to first show stop. <laughs> Shut up, Paul! <laughs> you need to make a fully functional board game. Out of biscuits. You have to use five different types of biscuits and use some chocolate work. <laughs> this is going to be a bit of a mess. <laughs> but I think that they will handle themselves. This board game was not very well thought out. <laughs> Yeah, two hours! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm sorry to have made you recall some painful, painful memories. Precious. No, <laughs> I should be the one apologizing for not being much help. I like, uh, Gregory's coat. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a detective coat. Yeah, now then, I believe it's time for us to start investigating the crime scene. Monsieur Edgeworth, Monsieur Shields, please find some way to save Monsieur Master. Monsieur Master's not someone who could commit murder! Yes, of course. Just leave it to us. Then I shall entrust it to you. If you'll excuse me, I have to continue serving tea to the other inspectors. Raymond, let's head to the crime scene. Yes, sir! Mr. Edgeworth. In reality, she just has the murder weapon in her skirt. <laughs> December 24th, 6.30 p.m. Contest venue. We have... Master's room. We have detective... <laughs> we have detective bad. Angry chef. <laughs> The ship is a dessert! <laughs> That's the chest! <laughs> the whole ship, though, is made out of desserts. It meets a lot of fondant. <laughs> Paul. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> he gets the Paul handshake. <laughs> the handshake. <laughs> wow, this whole fiend is made of chocolate. Chocolate? I can't believe I'm actually seeing Master Jeff's desserts up close. Can we eat? But this is... How long would the head take to me? Also, how would you... The body was in the chocolate. Inside the chocolate chest, yeah. Does that mean, like, they baked it in with the chocolate? Or is it hollow, like a hollow Easter rabbit? No, it looks like it's hollow. Oh, that's a little bit better. Were this not the scene of a murder, I admit, I too would have delighted in this occasion. Ugh. Now that you've reminded me it's a murder scene, I'm getting shivers down my spine. Perhaps it's because this room is cold to begin with. Now that you mention it, this room really is cold. Uh, Achoo! Never expected the defense attorney to show up so early. <laughs> Bad's back and he has no holes in his coat. Oh wow, yeah, you're right. He's like 40, looking hot. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Jeff Masters defense attorney, Gregory Edgeworth. Oh, you know, he's like 45. Did, right, actually, did we like get the profile? Oh yeah, Catherine Hall. She's 16. Wait, I would have I would have done a totally different voice if I knew she was 16. <laughs> you can give her a different voice next time. I was gonna say I could have done like a uh, like a Valley Girl French girl. Yeah, because your Ooh! southern accents are great. <laughs> okay, I don't want to hear it, Artie. You try doing several different southern accents. I can do two southern accents that sound different enough. Nah. But she didn't look like the type who would have a low southern accent voice. I'm just saying, if you have str if you struggle to give Nicole a different voice from Lada, don't That's try it again. different! <laughs> this is my assistant, Raymond. How do you do? 
Detective Tyrell Bad. Homicide. Mr. Bad, the de detective in charge of the case. A man of few words. Mmm. Tastes kind of bitter. <laughs> he ate the paper. <laughs> Is this the reincarnation of Luther? He likes to digest his memos in his stomach as well as in his mind. It's just a strange habit of his. Please don't be too concerned. It would probably be too much to ask him not to be concerned at all. More importantly, Detective Bad, will you give us permission to participate in the investigation? Permission denied. W why Mr. Edgeworth is Master Jeff's defense attorney! Defense attorneys plant false evidence to try and get their not guilty verdict. Okay, Bad. I don't want their kind to disturb the crime scene. Okay, fine. Mr. Edgeworth would never fault use false evidence to defend his client. <laughs> I can't trust that coming from a defense attorney. Do the police still suspect Mr. Master even after the investigation? If we didn't, we wouldn't have arrested him. I believe that Mr. Master is innocent. That's why I have come to investigate. Believing in his innocence without investigating the crime scene. How naive. <laughs> Thanks, Bad. Man. I appreciate it. He's still got his lollipop in his mouth. No, actually, in the past, he smoked. <laughs> That's that would sick. explain why he's entirely gray. <laughs> he's all, he was also pretty old in the, in the first game. That's why I would like your permission to investigate. By investigating the crime scene, I want to ascertain if my thinking was naive or not. <laughs> so you don't intend to leave until you've investigated the crime scene. I think Edgeworth yes. looks more like his mom than his dad. <laughs> they both have the wrinkles. Uh, Edgeworth doesn't have wrinkles. He has the furrowed brow. Yeah. Fine, then. I'll give you permission to investigate the crime scene. Thank you. No, it's a lollipop. <laughs> Orange-flavored Tootsie Pops are the best. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I do really like the blue ones. I like the blue ones and the orange ones and the chocolate ones. Cherries, meh. Raspberry's Cherry's okay. Cherries, okay. Raspberry's good. But I'll be accompanying you. I can't trust you defense attorneys after all. If you understand that, you can begin your investigation. Sweet. That's a lollipop? I'm a little surprised myself. Alright, let's begin the investigation. Raymond, be sure to take notes on the case. Leave it to me, Mr. Edgeworth. Just begin already. Two guards, two be people. Let's hey, do nah. it. Should we talk to the guards or should we talk to Matt Angry Chef? Uh, no, we're talking to the guards. This might be forensics. What are you investigating? Sir, I'm checking the temperature <laughs> of the stream. Sir, this stream has warm water. I like to imagine the forensic guy in the past had a really deep voice, and the guy in the present has a really high voice. <laughs> there's the two. There's the two people on the forensics team. One's like a chipmunk, and one's like smoked. This stream is connected to the fountain in the patio and runs through every room. <laughs> it's an unusual construction for a room. The minds of the rich. I'll never understand. Is this other forensics guy? What about over here? Was there nothing suspicious in the cupboard? No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so there was something. Oh uh, well, uh, no, the only thing is I cooked the burgers and tableware were placed there. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Defense attorney, was there nothing that you noticed? No. So you did not notice something? Or you did notice something? Oh no, I didn't notice anything. Everyone's always giving replies that are difficult to understand. <laughs> I think it's your way of asking that's bad. Aww, I wanted to voice a guard. If there's another one, you can voice. This is your sauté! This is a basin! I don't know if that's who he's going to be. Excuse me, but are you... you are... His hair! <sighs> My apologies. I was meditating. What did you ask, Sir Detective? Actually, I'm a defense attorney. My name is Gregory Edgeworth. I'm his assistant, Raymond. Pardon my late introduction. My name is Dane Gustavia. 
I am one of the pastry chefs participating in this contest. What kind of desserts do you make, Mr. Gustavia? My specialty is making desserts out of candy. Oh, what a cute seahorse! It was meant to be a dragon dancing in the sky. Eh? Uh, th this is a dragon? <laughs> I think it would fit better in the ocean than in the sky. I know all too well that design is my weak point. I plan to study design and undergo training in Zane Far once feet settled down. Everything here. just goes back to Zane Far. Yes, indeed. Zane Far. I probably shouldn't touch the subject of design any further. Zane Far. Zane Far. Mr. Gustavia, if you aren't related to the investigation, then why are you in this room? Sir Detective wanted to know more about the desserts in this room, so he asked me to come. Ooh, specialty man. Specialty man. Since he's one of the con contestants, he might know something. He takes off his scarf, there's just scars all over his neck. I mean, he's got a giant scar going across his face. Oh, he does! In into and, his chef and hat. into his chef hat. He doesn't have an eye. Mr. Gustavia, those instruments you use are quite unusual. It's, uh, blows air, right? Great animations, holy cow. Chicken! These instruments are called candy pumps, and they pump air into the candy. They kind of look like swords. They're so cool. Indeed. Ever since I began using them, no day has gone by where I didn't receive a burn or wound. That's why I wear red clothes, so that not a single stain will ever show on me. Oh, really? You wear red so blood doesn't show up on you. That's, that's great. <laughs> He's actually, like, just covered in blood. No one no, will ever know. No one will ever know. <laughs> Making desserts is serious business. I am always training. Does he injure himself because he hasn't trained enough? What about gloves? Do you wear gloves? Also, if you really get blood all over yourself all the time, what about your arms? Wouldn't your arms get, like, rough? That's true. Also, I love his theme song. Can you tell me about the great dessert contest that was held here? From the looks of this room, it seems the desserts weren't just for eating. The exhibition Mr. Master held was a contest in the art of dessert. The art of dessert. It's literally just Great British Bake Off show stop around. Yeah. <laughs> but on steroids. This is great. Desserts that are true works of art, made solely out of edible materials. The works of art in this room are all made from desserts. Now that you mention it, the whole room is filled with the smell of chocolate. Sir Master exhibits great talent in both flavor and design. If you are not able to surpass Sir Master in flavor and design, you will not be able to win. You have to be better than the judge? <laughs> That's like, it'd be like, you can't win British Bake Off unless you can beat Paul Hollywood in Bread Week. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> or, or, like... <laughs> <laughs> like, what the heck? <laughs> How would you do that? I mean, it's cool, because then you would have, like, you'd be a world-renowned chef, but... That's like if you went into American Idol and they were like, you have to sing better than all of us. It's like, it's, <laughs> the so, judge are... it's subjective. Yeah, how, it's true. How people prefer their bread or their pastries or whatever is subjective. I prefer a softer bread. Paul Hollywood prefers a good crunch. <laughs> <laughs> it's raw inside. It's raw inside, yeah. That means it hasn't been proved long enough. It means it hasn't been in the oven long enough. <laughs> enough. <laughs> Being the world's greatest pastry chef is pretty hard, huh? Isn't it? In other words, if I can surpass Sir Master, I shall become the world's greatest pastry chef. That was the prize of this contest! The prize is the title of the world's greatest- It is British Bake Off! There's no cash prize! It's just like, you won! Bracking rights, that Bracking is your rights, role. and you get a- <laughs> Oh, you get the plate and the you bouquet get the flowers. You get plate and a, a, a bouquet wrap from the latest flower shop. <laughs> <laughs> No one is going to get that reference. I just wanted that for you. <laughs> Thank you. In addition to that, there is also Sir Master's treasured angel's recipe. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you want to learn more about the contest, just look at this piece of paper. These were the rules that were given to the participants of the contest. Contest rules added to the court record. Did it actually say? Yeah, it is. This is court record. Because we're going to court. Because we're going to court. The rules of this contest are written on this piece of paper. Prizes, title of the world's greatest pastry chef, and the angel's recipe. Rules. One, contestants' rooms will be judged, starting from the left. Afterwards, all parties will meet in Jeff's room. Rule two, any decorations not made from desserts are prohibited. 
Rule three, entering another contestant's room before the judging is done is prohibited. Oh, so what actually happened is the dude was like, dude, I really have to go to the bathroom. And then walks <laughs> into the room, he's like, you're disqualified. He's like, oh, yeah! <laughs> Wait, wait, the guy who was disqualified tries? But we can't wait to tell the guy, or the guy who was disqualified gets killed. <laughs> the guy, the guy who was disqualified kills someone. Kills the guy who is working in a different room. Yeah. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. In a fit of rage, because he gets kicked out of the room. Oh wait, hold on. I don't think we examined the attorney's badge. The defense attorney's badge is shaped like a sunflower. Mm. Does the shape have any special meaning? Well, a sunflower always points towards the sun, right? From there, it's said to represent freedom and justice. Then, I'll also aim towards becoming a defense attorney just like a sunflower. <laughs> I look forward to it. That badge has a rather artistic design. My craftsman spirit is shaking. Mind if I borrow it for a while? S sorry, this is rather important to me. It would be unbearable if it got hurt in the candy-making process. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, about the case. Sorry, but I do not know much about the incident. I only learned about the incident after the judging had finished. How was the contest judging carried out? Let's see. Sir Master started judging at 3 p.m. This guy kind of reminds me of Kanbei from Advance Wars a little bit. Who? Kanbei's one of the COs you can be. He's, he's like another Asian guy with like a big mustache. And a kind of similar theme song, honestly. Okay. <laughs> Starting from my room, the judging proceeded in a clockwise direction. Oh, okay. Okay, so Master's room is on the far left. Gustavia's uh, room. Evie, whatever that means. Delicia's room and Dover's room. Oh, Delicia, she done it. Delicia done it? That's Delisha what you're calling? Delicia done it. Well, because that's not, um, the it's, actu it's actually Dahlia Hawthorne. Eight years old. <laughs> Iris or whatever. No, well, okay... Because the girl we met was not Delisha, right? No, she was Catherine Hall. Yeah, Catherine Hall. She's she's chill. Delisha, absolutely. Yeah, you're already uh, calling it. Delisha is going to be like the... Um, <laughs> she's like that annoying girl that spells Ashley different from... Ashley. Ashley or whatever, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Delisha. Instead of like Delisha. Or, uh. I use the room to the right of Sir Master's room, which is the room we're in now. Next, the room of a female pastry chef named Delisha was judged. A female pastry chef? What kind of person is she? She sucks. She is a frightening woman who would do anything to achieve her goal. Do you see what I- Okay, yes. also, if you've watched my, um, my shameless plug, uh, my KFC dating simulator let's play, that is exactly who Ashley is. Are you predicting she's just gonna be like Ashley? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I heard she used lots of cream to make a fantasy-themed dessert. She'll have, like, hair sticking up to here, and she'll be, like, no Maleficent. See. Okay, you're pretty Maleficent. And lastly, Sir Dover's room was judged. I watched that with our parents the other night. Oh, nice. Very good. Still his, holds up. His works were frozen statues made from sherbet. That's cool. That is cool. Hall discovered the body. Oh, no. Wrong guy. Hall discovered the body in the middle of Gustavia's judging. She panicked. And because she immediately notified the police, Master continued judging without knowledge that the body had been discovered. As a result, Master judged Dover's room in Dover's absence. <laughs> Seems we have plenty of room to suspect Master. I'm lacking in information. It's probably too early to object. There you go. By the way, Detective Bad. What were you talking to Mr. Gustavia about earlier? I was asking him about the chocolate frame hanging on the wall. I thought something was missing. What do you see? I thought if I asked someone who knew a lot about desserts, I could get an answer. The chocolate frame. Oh yeah, there's a leaf missing. Although, thanks to your arrival, I still haven't gotten my answer yet. There's well, a then. there's a leaf missing and there's a, a and there's light a smudge. Thing. No, there's a leaf missing, there's a smudge, there's a- Ooh, a blood smudge, too! Or I a think that's a chocolate smudge. Or a chocolate smudge. There's a candle thing missing, and there's uh, the top of the mm. doorknobs gone. Well then, since you've been waiting for so long, we can ask him about it right now. I guess you don't understand sarcasm. Mr. Gustavia, can you assist us with this matter? 
I train in the art of desserts every day. Fight of life. If you have a question about desserts, please do not hesitate to ask. Angels Thank rescue. you very much. Well, we'll have to do that next time because oh. dinner's about ready. Yeah. And we've been recording for 40 minutes. Thanks for watching, everybody. This was probably not what you expected at all, huh? No. I was. It's Great British Bake Off the Musical starring I, Gregory okay, Edgeworth. I figured we would have a case where we would flash back to Gregory Edgeworth at some point. I didn't know if it was going to be for the whole case or just part of it. A British Bake Off the Musical? I'm into it right now. <laughs> yeah, you are. I thought you would be. Anyhow. Tune in next time. We'll see what's going on. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.